Hello everybody, welcome to PokeView. Today guys, we are opening up, what is it? One, two, three, four, five. I guess we can call the mystery packs from Half Price Books. Um, believe it or not, because I've had like a whole box, like I have boxes and boxes of these, right? Um, with Pokemon cards that I've just collected over the past and haven't like opened them because I just haven't had a chance and right here it says that I bought these back in March of March 23rd 2021 and um they cost me two dollars each right If you don't know, um, half price bookstores, they sell these mystery packs. Um, they'll buy like a bunch of bulk from everybody and <clears throat> they will create these little packs and pretty much they make their own little mystery packs. So they may know what we get but we don't and i got this back in 2021 which is crazy 22 23 28 so they've been in the box for three years y'all so i have a little mixture of everything um i mean i and now that pokemon cards are like going for a lot of money um i mean I, i'm just in awe i'm just in awe how the pokemon community has changed and so yeah like uh i mean there there's something let's see how many of these we get because sometimes they be they be giving you so many of these And there are sets from, from like, I don't know, whatever it was in 2021. Um, yeah. So I'm thinking like Alola or I don't even know. Could it be Galar? Maybe I Okay. So that was one. Eh. I mean, eh, I think I have this one already, but okay. Let's see. Let's open up this one. So, to my understanding, because I've been collecting since the early 90s. Um, so, uh, so, to my understanding... Pokemon cards have gone up in value. Um, and they're apparently not remaking a lot of them, which is which is fine, you know, it makes these cards value go up. But again, um, I've been watching some videos out there that there's some people complaining that they don't finish their sets. Or, um, they're trying to buy all these other type of cards from back then and they can't find them. Um, or people buy them in bulk and then they sell them for an arm and a leg. And I think those are called scalpers or scopers. 
this one even have a a foil i think it did no oh yeah it did okay it had it was this one so how price bookstore you're scamming me no. <laughs> um oh and i bought these over here i mean where i'm from in dallas um Trying to keep it here so anyways how do you guys feel about that because none of that existed back in the 90s like not a lot of that like people would sell or trade well, we did a lot of trading back then when i was a kid like i did a lot of trading um so i don't know like i don't know how i feel about about this going on but um pokemon should be fun it should be like a hobby a fun hobby for those who who like to collect like me it shouldn't have to be like where you're spending i just watched a video of this little kid right he spent like fifty thousand dollars oh my god fifty thousand dollars on Pokemon cards, and I'm just like, what? What is going on? And and you know, inflation be bringing these cards, these packs, to like, I don't know. Now I think they're like eight dollars a pack or something here in Texas, or in the United States. I don't know. Like back then, they used to be like literally like three dollars, three to four dollars, maybe even less. And, and now it's crazy because you ugh, almost $8, like you go to a GameStop because that's where I used to buy them, right? Well, Blockbuster. Blockbuster is where I used to buy them. But you go to these places and man, well, they don't even exist to tell you the truth. They don't even exist anymore. But, um, you used to go to your local blockbuster and you would just buy a whole bunch of it and they had them in, in like fish bowls like it wasn't as as how it is now where they have this nice setup for them none of that so damn fifty thousand dollars to complete a set and now they have like rainbow rare and i don't know all these other types of cards and uh, and a lot of people just collect now they don't even play and those who do play you know it's it's a little of them really so it's just crazy to see that how the pokemon community has changed and yeah like it's crazy so anyways um yeah this is the half price bookstore opening um tell me if you saw any cards you liked again i don't get like super hyped like oh i have a rare blah 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 I just collect for fun, and you tell you the truth, I don't even collect all the sets. I, if you were to see my Pokemon binders, you would be like, Christian, what are you doing? Because I don't put them all, like if it's Chilling Rain, all of them are Chilling Rain, and all of them are Galare, and all the, I don't do that. Like, I just, if I see a Charmeleon card, and I have a whole page of Charmeleons, different types of Charmeleons. Or a whole page of Pikachu. Some people literally will like have hundreds of binders. And if that's how you collect, that's you, you know. But I collect for fun. I, if I see a Charmander that I like, I'll put it in my binder. I, I mean, I, I 
and they're mixed in with a lot of my like original Pokemon cards. So when people be looking at my binder, they're like, oh my God, you have a mixed in with X, Y, and Z or whatever. But that's just how I collect. How do you collect? Let me know. Well, thank you so much. I'll be opening some packs in the next video. So I don't know, like packs like these, you know, because I have a whole bunch of them. See you later. Bye. Oh, and subscribe. I Please subscribe and like my video. Thank you so much. Bye.